hello and welcome back to another YouTube video. Hi, I'm a speeder. Okay, so I'm filming this right after the other one. I went upstairs. Turns out it was just a lady in my neighborhood, uh, old friend of our family, coming to say hello to my parents. Uh, no siblings over yet. Uh, but basically, I was thinking for like, I don't know, two minutes or so. It's, it's been like maybe five minutes since I made the last one. But I was thinking for a second, what could I say about Egwene? And I realized I don't really have much to say um, about her character. Because honestly, there's not a lot I like about her character, and there's not, like I don't, there's not a lot I don't like about her character. So, <laughs> I'm not going to do an Egwene video. Uh, so, it'll only be Harry, Ron, and Hermione now. Um, but today's video is on the main protagonist of a book talk on, a, on the main protagonist of Harry Potter. Harry Potter from Harry Potter. Uh, okay. So, this video will contain spoilers for the entire book series of Harry Potter. Books 1 through 7. Uh, and let's see, how many things were there to go over for Harry? Where are the other two? There's one that I... What, what were the other two? Sorry, one second. Uh, um, I don't think there were two. I think there were only two of them in all. Wait. So there are three things. Okay. <sighs> Harry Potter is not my favorite character from Harry Potter. Um, that would be a tie between Hermione Granger and Luna Lovegood. Both awesome. Uh, Harry, he has he has some good character to him, but honestly, he's he's one of the least, in my opinion at least, least complicated in character, characters in Harry Potter, and I prefer a character that has lots of complexity to them, um, less shallow, I mean, he's not shallow, and he's not, he's not one-dimensional, but he, he's not the most complex, uh, character, and honestly, he doesn't have a lot of traits that I honestly really like. Uh, so, I mean, he's cool, but he seems like a pretty chill person. I mean, he is a pretty chill person, but I don't know. There's, he's just, he doesn't really catch my eyes a good character overall. I mean, he, he is a good character, but like, I don't know. He's just, he's not one that really appeals to me as much. Same with Ron, but Hermione's awesome. Um. Barry, basically, first thing is, he can make some really stupid decisions. I know, just like Keith, a lot of his stupid decisions are him just trying to help. I mean, you take uh, Order of the Phoenix, which, by the way, is my favorite Harry Potter book. Um, if you take Order of the Phoenix, and you have this whole book, Harry's been having visions of Sirius and danger, right? Um, and obviously they're from Voldemort. Um, and I mean, he... He chooses to not fully try 
um, with uh, Occumency, or was it the other one? There's Occum. I can't say it. Occumency. I can't say it. Yeah, whatever. Uh, there's that one, and the there's the other one. I don't remember which one he was practicing. Um, with Snape, it's it's been a while since I've read all all of them. Um, I've reread the series many times, but sometimes there's I know the name of one of them. Oculimency. I can't say it. Like I said, I can't say it. Um, and then there's another one uh, that pairs with it that I don't remember what it is. But basically, he chooses not to fully. I mean, obviously he struggles with it, uh, but he kind of does choose to not fully try um, practice with the snake. Um. So, then that leads to him making the decision to go to the Department of Mysteries, um, which would lead to Sirius's actual death, even though Sirius wasn't actually there. He's, that lead, that is the event, that is his decision, and it leads to the event um, of Sirius being killed. And also, one of the most epic duels ever between Dumbledore and Voldemort. That was awesome. Even in the movie, I mean, I hated, I hated Order of the Phoenix as a movie. Okay, it was terrible. They completely screwed it up. I mean, you can have your own opinion about it, but I loved the book. It was my favorite book in the series. A lot of people don't seem to like it, uh, but I, I don't know what it is with me in fifth books. I mean, like, fifth book of Keeper, fifth book of Harry Potter, even, like, in TV, like, Season 5 of Era was so good. I mean, not in old TV, because, you know, Flash Season 5, ugh. That was terrible. But, <laughs> I don't know, just, the movie for Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix wasn't, was, it was just, ugh. But the book, I, I loved it. But there was one part of the movie that I did really like, and that was, um, Voldemort and Dumbledore's duel. Um, but most of that movie, just, it didn't live up to my expectation. I mean, it, it didn't really... I didn't have high expectations for it because I, I only watched the Harry Potter movies um, this last November, actually, uh, soon after I started this channel. Um, I actually really liked how they did the sixth one. In fact, I'll have to do a video on this at some point, either on this channel or the movies channel. Um, I don't know. But, basically, it just... Yeah, I didn't like the fifth movie, but... Yeah, that, that duel, that I think they did it really well in the movie, as well in the book. In fact, they might have... They might have done it better in the movie, I, I don't know, really. I really liked how they did it in the movie. Anyways, uh, so... Yeah, Harry can make some really, really dumb decisions all the time. <laughs> and it can lead to some pretty bad things happening. I mean, he's a Gryffindor. I, I wouldn't expect anything different. But then again, Hermione's also a Gryffindor, so... Sometimes Gryffindors can be... Not so dumb. <laughs> um... But Harry, Harry can make some really bad decisions. Yeah, that, that being a prime example. That's serious. Anyways, um, the second one is he can honestly, in my opinion, be kind of immature and annoying. Um, now this doesn't happen too often. Math! Math! Sorry. One second. That, if you haven't seen previous videos, that, that is my code word to say hey. Don't come down here. Or, like, don't say people's names. Anyways, uh, like I was saying, it doesn't happen very often. Uh, but when it does, it just... <clears throat> I, I feel like there are a few examples of this in, um, in Goblet of Fire. Uh, mostly, 
when him and Ron are fighting, uh, he can be kind of immature and annoying, but also Ron is being more immature and annoying. Um, but there, there, there are a lot of points in time, just little moments I can't like really put my finger on unless I were to re reread it right now. I don't, I don't own any of the Harry Potter books except for the fourth one, which is sad. But I mean, I haven't <laughs> had the money to buy it, so <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah. So there, there are all these little moments where he's just kind of immature and annoying, and it really, really kind of puts off the mood. <laughs> And so, yeah. Like I said, it's been a while, so I, I can't pinpoint a specific places where this happened, but yeah. Uh, and then the, th the last one, the third one, is... Oh, crap, what was it? Dang it, this is the one I keep forgetting. Uh... Oh yeah, that was the last one. It can be very reckless. Now, he's not reckless all the time, but he's reckless a lot. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't always think things through. I mean, he he needs Hermione to be able to fully think things through all the time. I mean, honestly, he's just. He can be very, very reckless all the time. I'm, like a lot. He can. He may, and that ties in with the bad decisions one. Um, let me think of an example. Uh, specific example. Let's go back to the uh, Order of the Phoenix. Specifically, with the thing I went over before, he was very reckless when he went to the Department of Mysteries. Um, yes, he thought it through, but he was very reckless to go there, and again, that ties into with the bad decisions one. So, I mean, he, it can be a good thing that he's reckless sometimes, but most of the time, like I said, it leads to things like, say, serious death. Uh, or, for example, Half-Blood Prince, um, he uses the spell Sectum Sempra on Draco uh, without knowing what it did. Uh, which made Draco bleed out, and honestly, if Snape hadn't got there in time, he might have died. So he might have just killed somebody. I mean, he practically killed his godfather with his bad decisions and recklessness. But with his recklessness of using an unknown spell on Draco, it just... Yeah. It led to some bad things. So, yeah, that's that's also ties in with the bad decisions. So bad decisions and recklessness and the immaturity all mixed together, it, it can make a pretty bad domination. But, yeah. That's my take on Harry Potter. Um, from Harry Potter. And, yeah. Uh, now I just have Hermione and Ron left. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.